beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. If you're new here, my name is Mel. I make videos every single Sunday or Monday, depending on where you are in the world. Now, this week is from September the 2nd to the 8th. It's an amazing week, but before I get started, there's three things that I'm going to be discussing in today's video. The faces of the moon, astrological influences, and a tarot reading. It's a general tarot reading for all signs of the zodiac. So let's get on to it. So in terms of the phases of the moon, we're continuing on with the new moon. So check over here and this is your affirmation for this time. So I am so happy and grateful now that I celebrate this wonderful opportunity to manifest the next chapter towards my dream life. I set an intention with love and solidify my why. Now, have a look on the screen right now and you can see that this new moon is in six degrees and 46 minutes of Virgo. Now, Virgo's ruling planet is actually Mercury, which is the planet that rules communication, travel, um, electronics, and it also rules the rational mind, which makes sense when you think about communication. So this is kind of interesting. Um, let's see what else what we need to know. Then, that basically, that's carrying forward. This is going to be with us really for the next month. But as the moon constantly goes through eight phases, we're only spending three days really harnessing this energy, but it's actually going to be with us for the next month. Then from Tuesday to Thursday, we have <clears throat> the crescent moon, which is all about basically planning. So your affirmation is, I am so happy and grateful now that I have the opportunity to plan for success. I segment my intention into actionable steps and schedule into my calendar. This is so important. If you fail to plan, you basically plan to fail. This is, ugh, I can't stress how important this part is. So what do you want? Think of dream life, what do you want? And reverse engineer backwards to figure out what you actually need to work on for this moon cycle. Then on Friday to Sunday, we have the first quarter of the moon, which is the action phase. Your affirmation is, I am so happy and grateful now that I feel aligned with my intention. Excited for all the delicious goodness to come and have made peace with fear. I take inspired action and am an unstoppable force. Kind of a lot. Thinking about what do you actually want, planning it and then taking action come Friday to Sunday. Okay. In terms of the astrological influences, we have five planets in retrograde. If you're new to the fam, um, make sure you screenshot them and have a look. A lot of these have been going on since April and June, especially the Pluto, the Saturn retrograde. Um, we've got Neptune retrograde, which rules delusions and deceptions. Chiron retrograde, which is the wounded healer, healing the self. And the Uranus retrograde, which actually happened on August the 11th and is here until January the 20th. Now, this is the new one. This is the one that rules your finances and your love life. This is a really interesting one because I feel like with this Uranus retrograde, actually from what I read on astrologyking.com, that's where I get a lot of my facts. And then week to week as I'm learning more about the astrological science um, from astrolata.com or kellyrosano.com, Barbara Goldsmith, oh, there's a lot of them. Um, Brittany from Wonder Girl Astrolo Astrology. Um, what I have learned is that Uranus retrograde is a time of positive major change within your love life and your finances. This renewed internal perspective will help to raise your vibration so that you can become a vibrational match to everything that you desire. We have been feeling so down in the dumps, but as we're transforming, we have to go through pain in order to come out of the other side. Anyway, that's enough about that. Let's get on to Terry, which is my favorite part. If you're new to the fam, make sure you subscribe. And if you're new, you probably don't know that I use the Shadowscapes Tarot. So what I'm gonna be doing, I will pull one focus card for the week, and then I will pull a card for each day of the week. And usually I channel songs through it, but we'll see. Last week I channeled Akuna Matata. It means no worries for the rest of your days. It's a problem free philosophy, Akuna Matata. So let's see what we need to know for this week. All right, focus card for the week. 
September, I can't believe we're in September, September the 2nd to the 8th. Your focus card for this week is a lot. Okay, I'm actually gonna pull two. It's actually three, but the first one that I saw <clears throat> is the temperance, is finding your balance, which we have been basically been having for this whole flipping year. This temperance is a major arcana in the tarot deck, which signifies a massive life event. Finding your balance. How does that look like for you? Yes, you have been off balance. Yes, you've been out of alignment, but you're now figuring out how to get back on track. You can set your, your affirmation for, I am so happy and grateful now that stability is my natural state. I'm so happy and grateful now that I have secured the most amazing office or whatever this looks like for you. The other card, actually I'm gonna pull all three. This is weird, I normally don't pull, it's normally just one card that comes out for the focus, but today we've got three. The other card for the focus is the strength, harnessing that strength of the lion. This is a, someone who doesn't mess about, this is someone who has set boundaries, someone who's very strong in their conviction, but also strong spiritually, mentally, financially, in all aspects of life. Whew, okay, that's amazing. And then we actually have the Six of Swords. Whew, okay, Swords represents conflict or challenges that you may be overcoming. We know that there's challenges that we're overcoming because you know there's five planets in retrograde. They're showing us what we have missed. As planets slow down, you're able to have an opportunity to really like, the universe really exaggerates, you know, not exaggerates, that's probably the wrong word, really makes clear the area in which is, is holding you back. And this is an opportunity for you to grow and to heal. So we actually have the Six of Swords. So this is, you know, taking yourself away from the contrast. As you're finding your balance, you're having to remove yourself from people, place, career, so many different things. We've in June, when was it? In July, we had eclipse season, which was really shaking things up again. And they eclipses are the most powerful aspect in astrology. It's when things, when your life can go from this to this, you know, or this to this. It really depends on where you're at and how you, and how what, what's your perspective? How do you handle these situations that come to you? So in terms of the difficulties, you're removing yourself from these situations to find your balance, but also harnessing your strength. Maybe that's the whole reading. <laughs> All right, I'll see what we need to know specifically for Monday. Oh, that was quick. Monday, this is for the new moon, still continuing on with this. Oh, the tower. Okay, we've had this a couple of weeks ago, I believe. The tower is basically a major arcana in the tarot. This is an opportunity for you to rebuild your structure. You know, this is your root chakra. You know, your root chakra may have been blocked for a long time, which rules your security, your um, finances, your home, your career, your relationships. Something has to break away because if you're really honest with yourself and you say, right, would I be happy staying in this situation for the next 20 to 30 years? Most likely you're going to be saying no. That's why this has to shift. This is a blessing. I know it's scary. <laughs> I've been there many times myself and you're kind of like, ah, initially you're like, why is this happening? And then when you get more level headed and you find awareness, you're like, what is the lesson? And then you grow from it. There's always something to learn from these situations. Don't settle for just second best. Be the leading lady of your own life. Okay, Tuesday, crescent moon, we're planning. Okay, ooh, this is interesting. The first card that I saw is actually the 10 of pentacles. Ooh, mm, girl, I just feel like this like, um, real like sassy kind of energy, very much secure in your foundations. As you're planning, you're planning for long-term stability and success. Let's be real. You're planning, you're reaching from the stars, but right here, she's very quite content. She's very, like she knows that everything that she's been through is a blessing. She has so much around her. If you have clothes in your cupboard, you have a roof, well, first of all, do you have a roof over your head? Do you have food in your fridge? you know, you are doing really well. Yes, you may not have everything that you want, but you have to be happy and grateful in what you already have because the universe is not going to bring you more. It's the law of attraction. If you wanna know about law of attraction, I'll link it on my end card and I'll show you um, season two of the law of attraction. So this is like material success. This is, you've got the dragon, you know, to guide you, but you're also very like free. 
planning. I just got really, really itchy at the back of my neck. The neck uh, up here on the shoulder area, the top part of the back is your emotions. I just, I just feel like this is a really, do I want to pull the other ones? All right, let's quickly do it. Okay, so we've got the Nine of Swords, which is looking back and everything that you've been through. You're like, oh my God, I've been through hell. Seven, to, Seven of Pentacles is really selecting the right time. Eight of Pentacles is making a decision and the Five of Swords is making a decision with love. All of that represents is kind of, I feel like, embodied within the, the Ten of Pentacles. It's like, okay, you want this. You're planning for success. I think that's probably the quickest way to say all of that. I've got to be really quick because this, I must be quite a chatty Cathy today. I've got 11 minutes to go. <laughs> Wednesday is also in the Crescent Moon. We are planning for success. What do we need to know, angels? There it is. Wednesday. Ah, the Queen of Cups. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, I love that. Okay, that's like emotional. I feel like you're really harnessing the energy of what you actually want. You know, you're trying to figure, if we go back to the focus cards for this week, the temperance, the strengths, the six of swords, it's like you're really channeling that energy of what you want and you're, and you're feeling the freedom that you know that it's coming. Ah, I love that. All right, Thursday. Thursday, there we go. Thursday is the Three of Pentacles. Interesting, we've had this a lot this year. I feel like so many of you, as you're like up leveling and you're becoming this whole new person in this whole new world, you are starting to find your support system. This one to me, the Three of Pentacles, is having someone to raise you up, someone who supports you no matter what. I always say, if you can handle me at my worst, then you can, ha then you deserve to be with me at my best. You know, it's just finding the right people that actually care about you, and you're really focusing on that. You're really starting to, yeah, you're really starting to harness those energies. I kind of thought just then, I just had a flash from, I can't remember, the lady who actually created Spanx. She said that when, I think it was like the first, maybe it was the first year, as she was creating the, um, the garments, she didn't tell anyone about her because she said, you know, mostly your, your family and some of your friends will probably squish those ideas and say, why, 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 why? You can't do this and blah, 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 blah. Put all those doubts in your head. But it's finding the right people that will support those dreams and those visions that you deserve. Okay, Friday is the first quarter of the moon. Friday, we're starting to take action. Okay. Friday. Let's see what we need to know. Oh, oh, fabulous. Oh, this is a beautiful card. So many major arcanas this week. We have the Empress card. The Empress is birthing something new. She's, she's really starting to make strides in what she wants. The Empress is the mother. What does a mom, what does your mom do? The mother nurtures, supports, creates the right environment for you to thrive. We've got, you know, we've got a circle, the circle of life, everything is interconnected. Yes, the bad times help create, you know, the, when you have the lows, you really appreciate the highs. And as you go through the lows, you learn things and you can apply them and you can become stronger. As you're finding your balance and your strength and you're moving away from, you know, the six of swords, moving yourself away from what doesn't serve you. There are so many beautiful rows that are blooming in front of her. It's just very much like launching what you want, in, not really launching, but taking action and knowing that you can achieve everything that you have set your intention on and planned at the beginning of the week. That's kind of liberating, isn't it? It's like, you can do it. Yes, you can. It's all in the mind when you start to reprogram the mind. That's what I specialize in. Well, I specialize in childhood trauma. What one, the heaviest aspect within my program, I go through three different tiers, but the main one is in reprogramming the subconscious because you may not be aware that the first seven years of your life sets you up for 
for your life as an adult because 95% of your thoughts come from the unconscious of what you learned as a child. So if you're self-sabotaging yourself, what the flip did you see growing up? Did your parents do this? I don't know, did your whoever used to look after you? Really pay attention to that, the community that you were in. Wow, okay. Saturday is also in the first quarter. Aha, uh -huh, we've had this so much as well. The Three of Cups. So this is a beautiful card to embody working with other people. Maybe you are working on a creative project and you're like, okay, I'm getting to this. I just saw shoes. Um, I've been following this company called Feel Grounds, which are barefoot shoes. And they actually have a really lovely design for a pink shoe, which I would love to buy. And it's like, you know, if you think of like the process of creating those shoes, it's like, okay, can you create it all by yourself? Do you need to seek out a manufacturer? Do you need to, I'm doing a lot about manufacturing. We spoke, spoke about Spanx and I was speaking about barefoot shoes. I just feel like this is, this is the embodiment of working with other people. You know, you can't do it all by yourself. Or if you can, it's gonna take longer. And Sunday, what do we need to know for Sunday? The action phase of the moon, angels. What am I beautiful love, love, MK love fan. I couldn't even get the words out. I kind of feel, there was one that fell and then all of these, but the first card that I actually saw is the four of swords. This to me is resting. In terms of the action phase of the moon, I want you to be working smarter and not harder. How does that look? Okay, that means getting up at whatever time floats your boat, reprogramming your subconscious, doing your self-love practices, you know, yoga, meditation, journaling, walking out of mother nature, bare feet on the ground, drinking high vibrational water. If you not, if you haven't learned much about the frequency of water, oh my gosh, Google Dr. Emozo, Dr. something Emoto. I can't remember his name. Oh, he talks about the molecular structure of water when it is in the frequency of love and you look at the crystals under a microscope and it is incredible. And then you look at the molecular structure of water when someone is screaming at you and you look at how disjointed it all is. I don't know why I, I feel like, yeah. I kind of was all over shop with that one, but basically what I'm trying to say is work smarter and not harder with that one. Let's see what the other ones are. We got the star card. Ooh, that's interesting. So working smarter and not harder, the, you know, the, the star is that guiding light through the darkness. So you have, you found your direction and you know how to work through the contrast. Seven of swords. Ooh, okay. This was a little bit interesting. The Seven of Swords is about lies and deceit. How does that fit with the action phase of the moon? Have you been doing, have you been, I really want you to focus on, when I say work smarter, not harder, I don't want you to make, um, I don't want you to take shortcuts that are not in, um, how do I say it? I don't want you to be taking shortcuts that are not coming from a place of love. I don't want you to, uh, I think of Instagram when people buy likes, you know, I, I don't want you to be taking those types of shortcuts. I want you to be building authentic foundations for yourself. I don't want you to be doing anything that comes from a place of fear and an ego. And now we've got the three of wands, which is a beautiful card. I love this one for so many reasons because there's people before you that haven't been able to make it. Maybe these are people in your own family. And I feel like that's why the three of pentacles is such a precious one. You know, finding people that actually support you. These could be, you know, maybe not life people in your actual physical life. These could be people online that you can chat to. You know, for a very long time, I spoke with Joe from the Moon Journal. Um, online. I think it was like six years before we met and I only met her in Jul June um, when I was in England. You know, it's like finding people that support you. She was, she is still to this day, one of those people that support me no matter what. I really want you to focus on that. Maybe as you're looking at the three of cups, the seven of swords links in with as you're trying to build your team or build, find people to help you collaborate on whatever it is that you're doing. I don't want you, maybe someone that you are working with, you get a feeling about, this doesn't feel good. 
then you need to get rid of that aspect. The, the, the Seven of Swords is not a good card. So whatever is coming up for you, either right now or you're going <clears> to <throat> figure it out throughout the week, um, I really want you to focus on eliminating that aspect. So the Three of Wands I'm saying is that you have to trust. This is a lot of trusting as you're taking action and it's, and it's actually really, really scary. It's super duper scary, but I'm finding that that you can do it. You have this beautiful cat. It looks like a cat next to you. And you know that as you take your next step, the path will appear. When I first started my business, I had no flipping idea what the hell I was doing. I know that I just had to start and just taking that step of like, you know, launching my website was the scariest thing I ever did. I had no idea how I was going to handle everything. I kind of just figured it out as you go. So don't think that you have to have the whole thing figured out in one hit. You can do it as you go. And let's just see what the last card for this one is. The Hanged Man. That's interesting that this was kind of like separate from the rest of these cards. The Hanged Man is all about the perspective in which you're looking with all of that. Oh my gosh, my loves. Exciting week. Finding your finding your balance, harnessing that inner strength, doing things that you haven't done before that are scaring the absolute bejeebus out of you. You can do this. You're on an amazing, amazing journey. I'm sending you so much love for a truly amazing week. Thank you so much. Honestly, thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate you. If you join me on the live chat, thank you so much for taking time out of your schedule to be here with our beautiful MK Love fam chatting. If you left a comment and you've watched the replay, I will be responding back to you. Have an amazing week and I will see you next week. I love you so much.